So we got somebody playing a mind game with me. So I'm going to try to put you center. You'd be in the field there. Be kind of real centered right now. And kind of center to on the heavy end of the field. You can see, yeah, you can see a little bit of darkness right now. Well, open a little bit. And what I believe interaction is happening here because that's just grass. This is hay. What I believe is happening. I got a show of a lot of body going on there. And then I did my scoping it out. You know, I'm making it really obvious I'm scoping it out. Showed me a lot of body, a lot of blackness. Get to see a little something going on there. I actually think it's a game being played because the object has stayed very comfortably in that spot. Come a little bit closer towards the forest, the mountainside. And the reason why I'm able to say that is because I'm lining it up with something in that, um, that first set of trees there just behind it, like a kind of in our measurement, maybe my measurement, about a quarter inch and we're looking but no reality, it's like a block or two back, those, that hedge, that old, and it's an old farmer's hedge there, back there, around a the house maybe back in the day or something. Anyway, so it's, maybe see some other ones, but I don't know. Oh, there she's showing a little something now, because I'm going back into kind of periscope mode. And it, it, it is so much just in that same line. I'm not doing a hard, I'm going to go like this now, so you can figure it out, and I'm going to put it near the edge of the camera. But it'll give us more view. Okay, so where am I in the camera? Oh, I could come way more. I could come over to like about there and it'll still be in the picture. I could probably come over. See, I lose some of my picture a little bit from, but from there to as far as maybe there, it is still in the picture, but somewhere in there. But I'm giving it more space because there's some options on the camera that make it so it was hard for me to verify how close it was to my visual edge. But now it's showing more color and stuff. And so what I'm hoping I'm doing to bring it over like this is we still get her or him in there. But it's become irrelevant now to my study if it is a bear. Unless I felt like, well, maybe the bear is getting some controlling messages coming at it, then I'd like to, I'd like to see that kind of stuff. Um, like a friend through YouTube there, Christine, she had a coyote in her video. And I was hoping it was going to, she, however long she videotaped that coyote, I hope she, I was hoping she was going to upload all of that. But she might have thought it became too boring for some. But I'm sure to her it wasn't. And I bet you she'd watch the video again. But the thing is, I would for sure watch the whole thing. Because I was looking at the language of the coyote to see what's going on with the coyote. Because if a coyote's going to be settled down in the view of a human, then there's some comfort going on for some reason or distracting. You know, different stuff like that going on. So now I'm going to bring it over so that Mark is in there again. You can even get to hear some crow going on and verify with your own mind if you think that could be a trickery in the crow. It's really hard to determine crow authenticity to somebody making fake crow noise. It's quite hard because the crew's optical or vocal ability is really 
out there. It's a lot of different sounds. They can make hawks, hawk sounds and everything. I've heard it myself. I have it verified on uh, the channel. And there was two of them that had it going on. Anyways. But. Implication. Implica impl you know the word. Implication. You know. Implications of implications of it going down, like the reasons why you think it is going down, like what's triggering that crow right now, you know, wasn't doing it before it turned on the camera, now it doesn't seem to want to stop, you know, so without making anybody realize it, I'm going to start up video taping over here now, like that, and you see if you get a difference like we just did in the crowing noise. And you can keep playing that game. And maybe after a series, you start to realize, hmm. So what I find in a lot of the, just the beep out noises, is times of change and stuff. Like I stood up, earlier I stood up on some rock, right in there, that whole, that's a, that's like a gorilla. What do you call them? A sanctuary for gorillas in there, man. I kid you not. I've shown that years back, a couple of years back. But it's unbelievable. It's all, you know, somewhat cliffside and stuff. But up on that top ridge of it, it's phenomenal. And then we get to come around to the old rock quarry over here. You get to hear an old man in the background, uh, or I mean a gentleman in the background, singing away. So there's the old rock quarry that they love, like they love the area. That rock, rock quarry has a nice waterfall back in there. It's kind of right centered about right in back in there, I'd say. So guys, we got stuff going on. Do you see the top of these trees? Remember I was talking about the zigzag formation of mountains? The tops of them? Now do you get what I'm meaning? You know, just skim those top ones off. Zing! And that's how our mountains used to look. More like that. But now we're zing, doot, doot. Do the thing, same thing with the next one. Zing! Doot, doot, doot. And then go right around along all the mountains. And all you need to do is go zing, and they wouldn't look like that. So what you're seeing is you're seeing a very obvious change in the growth patterns of the trees, is what I'm trying to show you. And it's encouraged by these guys. It's not necessarily bad. Well, Sounds like you're having a good time. Well. So... That's what I'm seeing out here is I see a different growth cycle in a lot of our plants, trees, our fruits, our vegetables, I think is even showing, especially in the seeding sense of it. A lot of people in their little gardens were probably disappointed because they walked away for a couple of days and came back and it was all gone to seed some other vegetables. Alrighty. He's still there. This looks like maybe he's backed up a bit. Let's see how it's around here. No, more or less right in the same location. So it could be a little huddle. Look at, I'll end by showing our son. Isn't that a drag? That's thanks to Washington, and I'm not being sarcastic. They don't have any real thing that they can say about it. But um, because it's fire, it's, it's the way of 
either nature or the supernature. And I say the supernatural could very well be involved with uh, what's going on. I don't know if you lightly heard that guy for the last couple, last minute there driving and stuff. I think he was doing that all based on me videotaping. That's the Canadians for you. There goes the gentleman down that way. He's not the same guy that was humming. Cheers.